myself, Dr. Sunil Kumar from Sir J.C. Bose Technical Campus, Kumar University, Nainital. Uh, today I will discuss about uh, namespace and defining XML data format. In first session, I will take up XML data space need, then define and discuss namespaces in used in XML. So, it is required, it is uh, supposed to, you have must have learned about the basics of XML. What is XML? XML uh, stands for Extensible Markup Language and this language is used to provide information about the document, web document and this XML is used to describe the structure of the data and this is a standardized language for creating web page and web application like HTML. XML file got extension dot XML dot XML and this is designed to carry data not to display like HTML. HTML tags are not predefined user can create of its own and they are self descriptive means their meaning is self describing like uh, we, and we used to enclose the tags like tag data this is a container tag which ends with up with the slash sign now why we need this xml data namespaces first reason is duplicate element names normally user uh, developer xml developer want to create their own elements and want and attributes in their own projects in their own websites and their attributes are shared by the similar or other projects around for example we have a, a one XML which carries HTML table information like table and there are two rows one is apple, apples and other is banana and then another table another XML document which contain table and uh, name is African table and there are attribute are width length etc and here XML this carry information about the furniture here if we combine these together there will be a, a name conflict both table both document contain table element table tag and but the element have a different content and meaning in first we have a banana and apple other is a furniture information now in by using namespace we have to tell the difference between these two table elements used in different two types of XML document. So here, here XML parser which converts XML document into text string. Now if we combine it we have to give prefix like H table HTR like first of all we will give the prefix key that table belongs to H and we have given two prefix one is for furniture F and in this way there will be no conflict in table element since we have given some prefix we have and we basically we are given some namespace now XML elements are distinguished by using namespaces and this namespaces provide a method to avoid duplicate names conflicts so this is a set of names which is used for the element or names attribute in the xml document which are unique so namespaces must be unique so that there must be no conflict among the name now there are some features are there reusability we can use it those namespaces and their elements wherever they are defined then we can modulate it we can extend also 
and then we can also have a uh, another elements attributes and using some other technology like math ml x html etc now let us talk about the syntax of namespaces so namespaces are used to resolve the conflict within the name space so this is the mechanism for giving elements and attributes assigned to groups and this is a column prefix notations and this is directly attached to the names as well as the names of attributes and their children so namespace is a qualified name whose scope is been ident identified by namespace identifier if name uni namespace identifier is unique and that is called namespace qualified names and here we will take one example f colon name f is the prefix and this will prevent the name collision now what are the problem which are posed by the prefixes in prefixes uh, we give it may be duplicated and if prefixes are not unique there will be a, a definitely a duplication effort will be there how to resolve this for avoiding this duplication prefix we use uri uniform resource uh, uniform resource identifier they, which identify namespace uniquely and here for example if we take one uh, xml document and here uri is located at www.google.com like we gave hrh column table xmlns this is for xml name space here name space identify the location google.com and the other information is for the table that is apple and banana and another table for furniture information we have given same uri that is google.com and which contains other name width length element with the prefix f that is furniture so here namespace prefix it is used to reference the namespace prefixes must not be begin with the x and it should not start with the x m l n s or x m l it should start with the letter or underscore so this is a, a little bit a diagram for the element name uri etc which is being shown and uri is uniform resource identifier now it contains element name which refers to which specify the name of element xml analysis is used for xml namespace and uri uniform resource identifier which it is a string of characters which identify the internet resource physical resource or some abstract resource here there are two types of uri one is url and urn uniform resource name and url is uniform resource locator if uri is used as namespace identifier it only identify abstract resource and two namespace identifier are considered identical when they are matched character by character how do we put attribute if attribute have no prefix it has no namespace if if attribute is without prefix is called default namespace or default declaration if attribute has an prefix its name is in namespace identified by the prefix it is called explicit declaration now how do we uh, give uh, this how do we assign this local name with prefix 
which contains some value prefix local name value with a double quote first one with the single quotes and prefix is used to reference the name space only and it should not begin with xml ns or xml local name is the name of attribute here and value which can which a user proposed for the attribute now if we look at the default here uh, we have a customer xml then it's uh, there is a one namespace location is the url is there eps software dot com pu name order the other other attributes are in the order our product then we the nesting is there and there will be no conflict since we have given the prefix with the namespace explit we have to give if we take another one more uh, pu purchase order we give another location for the pu then we have to give the we have to give the order and the customer attribute separately so that there must be no collision now what is the scope of the name spaces here by default all child all the sub element which are in the contained in the element they apparently use parent name space and so it, that means they inherit the feature of the name spaces from their parent so this is called default and scope if we give like customer then name order that means they will have only inherit the feature of their parent xml name space like customer here declare default name space order is also declared default name space here all unqualified element with the order element will inherit the feature from the order element only so in this session you have learned about the xml name spaces what are the syntax and what is the scope of the name spaces in the next session we will discuss about the different data formats used with xml thank you